Maybe what we got right here is these, these, these are called birdhouse cutouts. And they look like some of the birdhouses you see today. They look like some of the birdhouses you see today uh, with the wood, but inside with the fuse disconnect. Uh, very popular because the fuse was enclosed and out of the The only problem would be when there was a, a fault on the line and they built a fire, of course the wood is going to catch fire easy and burn the whole thing up. This had a copper roof. They weren't just cheaply made. Copper was a hard to come by item back. This is, I believe, a 1907 here. So it's, it's very old and rare. This here is uh, another version of the birdhouse coming out. A little bit different, probably a little bit older. It didn't have the, the copper roof on it, but it was a manufactured roof. They did that to run the roof off. So there was a lot of thought put into those wooden discos out there. Then they moved here to the porcelain, which uh, these are Early 1900s, some of them over 100 years old. These, these are both over 100 years old, I'm sure the wood ones. And it's good to find these because most of them did burn up in fires, and so there weren't many left to, to be uh, gotten. It's a good thing George was able to get them. These other smaller disconnects here, they were very popular. They uh, they were mostly in the lower band, just 2,400 volts. Those, um, uh, there's still some in service today. Uh, California has some of these. Uh, this is an SNC or Schweitzer and Conrad manufacturer of those. Thank you very much. Quite a bit of different uh, disconnects here.